Welcome, in this video we're looking at Wireshark and we're going to be looking at ARP, VLANs, and STP in a PCAP file. So the objectives that I was asked to cover is looking at ARP, looking at an ARP breakdown in the PCAP file, look at VLAN information in the PCAP, and go ahead and look for STP traffic and priority information in uh, that PCAP file. So let's jump into Wireshark and let's see what we can do. All right, so I went ahead, I already have my packet, uh, my PCAP open in Wireshark. First things first, ARP actually does address resolution protocol, and the purpose of it is to do uh, lookups based off of uh, a known IP address and a unknown MAC address. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and filter based off of our request, so ARP. And we can start looking through our different ARP sections. So we filter off of ARP, we can see our different ARPs, and we can see the different broadcasts coming in. What is interesting is you can see the info as who has, who has an IP address tell that IP address. Well, this is all address, all IPs. We actually want to see where we can see a MAC address. And you can start seeing here in packet 1979, 192.168.100.147 is at that MAC address. So that is actually the response to some of our MAC requests. So let's actually break down and let's see how we can look at that. So here is our Ethernet frame. Here is our source and our destination. How do we know the appropriate source? That's where the ARP actually came in. And you're going to notice it's going to give us a ARP reply, address resolution protocol reply. And what we can do is we can see that we have certain types of code. And this opcode 2 is the flag for our ARP reply. This is going to be our destination address, MAC address. This will be our destination IP. This will be our, sorry, this will be our sender, sender's IP, destination uh, MAC address, and sender's IP. That way we can actually see where we're getting our ARP requests from. All right, so that answers the first question. The next question is about VLANs. So the nice thing is, we can filter based off of just our VLANs. And you're going to notice things like STP are actually here as well, but we're not going to discuss those just yet. We're just going to be focusing on our VLAN details. So here I'm looking at frame number 55. And as I'm just going to shrink all of them down, you should see one of them being tagged as 802.1Q and this sets the ID. The ID actually is the VLAN ID. And as we look at it, we can see that we have what we'd be expecting. We should see things like the priority, the uh, DI, DEI, or the CFI. We can see the ID. Those are things that we should uh, be looking for. If we expand out Ethernet, we can also see the type of the, the frame, and it's a 8100, and that's what we'd be expecting for a VLAN. So I'm going to bring over Wireshark's documentation in Wikipedia on VLANs. Normally, what we would be expecting to see is some form of destination MAC, source MAC, and a, a VLAN if it exists. And Again, for VLAN, it'd be set to 0x8100, and it is. And then the next section would be the tagged portion. And this is what the tagged portion, VLAN tagging, would look like. It would be a priority section, a either a DEI or a CFI, and then a ID. And here is where we'd see our ID. So to answer the question, what are some of the VLAN IDs found in our PCAP? VLAN ID 32 is definitely there. 
as we scroll through different groups, we can also see VLAN 5. VLAN 5, VLAN 32, VLAN 108 for our SAP. For our phones, we have 104. Uh, all right, uh, for RIP, sorry, not phones, but RIP. So 104, 105, 32, 5. We see 32 again. We also now start seeing this uh, see VLAN 6. So we can see a, a number of VLANs. And that is where we'd be looking at them. And we can also drill down so we can see that this is part of the uh, IPX, SPX, BIOS. We have our STP. STP is using VLAN 17. And so forth. So that answers the VLAN IDs. Next, we want to examine STP traffic and see if we can see some of the priorities. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is change out my display filter. I wanna number them again. We can see all the different protocols that are here. We can see that STP is definitely one of the protocols. So I'm gonna do STP, give it a second to filter. And you can see that we are using PBST Plus Spanning tree for bridges, P, uh, PVST. So it looks like PVST is the common STP. So I'm gonna, gonna click on 145, and you're gonna notice that we actually now have a special uh, tree for spanning tree. So I'm gonna expand that. And as we uh, look through this, we can see the protocol identifier, we can see the protocol version, the BD, uh, BPDU types and flags. Well, as we start scrolling further, we can see things like bridge identifier, port identifier, uh, path costs, root identifier. Our root identifier is using priority 16384 where the default bridge ID is 32768. So we can see that this is our root bridge. We can also see, well, that's the priority of the root bridge. We can see that that is the MAC address of the root bridge as well. All right, since that is my MAC address, 00E0FE, I'm going to go ahead and open up Notepad. I'm going to document it so I can filter. So I want to filter off of 00, zero E0, zero, FE, 69, 9, Bravo, 10. So that is the root bridge. And again, we can expand, uh, we can drill down into it. We can see its priority, which we could already tell from up here. We could see the system ID. We can see the MAC address. So I'm going to go ahead and do the ether dot address. I'm going to set that equals to my Mac. Sorry about that. I'm an ETH, not Ether. And I'm going to filter based off of just that MAC address. And give it a second for it to process. Alright, so it did not like that. So I'm just going to take a different path. Once I find my root bridge, I'm going to right click. I'm going to do apply as filter. And I want to select on it. You're going to see that it now changes instead of ETH, it's just going to do stp.root.pry and set that priority. And we can verify which uh, devices have that uh, priority. And you're going to see that it's the same MAC address on all of them. 
frames 145, 146, 499, 500, 781, and 482. So again, that's kind of how we would break down uh, this PCAP to answer those three main questions. ARP, VLAN IDs, STP traffic. I'm going to let you play around to see what else you can find and describe the packet numbers. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. Thank you.